first, a message for a few very special friends. Espera, espera, já já me lembro muito. Acho que senta me tinha coisa para fixar o que estava a dizer. Se me passa super agradecer que ele contribuiu a contribuição dos a fazer apanhar lendo, ok? Daniel, da Daniel, Del, Del, André, Peter e Paulo. Muito obrigada. Thank you. Tá bom, Alex. Dá um vídeo. <laughs> okay, now back to the show. Let's start with the story of Peter and Lily. Peter came here over a year ago with his son Ayrton. I wanted to introduce Lily to Ayrton. He was closer to her age. But when I suggested that, she flatly said no. I want to meet the older guy, she said, meaning Peter, Ayrton's dad. Well, it did not take long for those two to take to each other. They've got their own apartment and something else. This is Sydney. He's been in charge of painting this boat. He's getting the epoxy ready. And then he's going to put it on. Yep, now they've got a boat. One that has been beautifully renovated by Sydney here. And what's the story with this boat? Well, as you can see, it was taken out of the water to be inspected. The hull was completely sanded, the lifting keel overhauled, and of course, it was painted and anti-fouling was applied. Now it's a matter of bank delays. It's an important sum that Peter has to transfer from his accounts in Canada to here in Cape Verde, Africa. Yes, transferring a large amount of money to Africa does raise a few suspicious eyebrows. The owner Popeye is patiently waiting, as is Peter and Lily. The money will be deposited soon, se Deus quiser, in Inchala. And once that's done, Peter will register it with a flag, insure it, and finalize administrative procedures. And then we'll be able to set sail and test out this beauty, so that we can go forth for broad African horizons. Deus quiser, Inchala. Meanwhile, we're in Mindelo, the city we have fallen for and has adopted us. We really love it here. And while we wait, well, we do what we have to do. Mindelo, we've got a problem. Roaches, man. It started with, with little tiny teeny ones. And uh, I'd see them, and I'm like, oh no, this is not good. And then every once in a while I see a slightly bigger one now. And he comes up on my desk here, sometimes, crawling around on my keyboard. You know, that's real fun. And then I see him here in the kitchen too. So I've decided to do a general cleanup. I got some roach stuff here. It's old, it's from France, but let's give it a try. And then I got the uh, Chinese, Chinese powder stuff that you, you put down, so try that out. But first, I've taken everything out of the uh, of the storage areas and stuff, and it's quite amazing all the stuff you can put in this little tiny place, you know. So I've got to clean all this out now with some bleach and um, then spray, and then hang out outside until it airs out. Cockroaches on a boat are like rats on a boat; they are not welcome. Okay, and it's going to start getting warmer and hotter as the wind drops here, and uh, I don't want to be carrying them along with me. All right, all done. Stick some sand, clean, put in a little venom, some poison. Let's hope that uh, it works. Now I've been invited to a barbecue out uh, with Peter, who rented a house out there in a place called Ribiera de Vina. So I'm gonna head out there and uh, see what's happening. Apparently, he's cooking some barbecued pork chops with some homemade barbecue sauce. Peter knows how to cook, man. Right. I'll show you what's happening over there.
Peter had initially rented this house to host Lily's birthday party. But they did not use it, and he still had it at rented. So he hosted a barbecue with our usual crew, as well as Lily's mom. I've been here a long time, and I remember when I came for the first time, I did not know much about Mindelo. So for you first timers that come to Mindelo, here's a quick tour by dinghy and drone to give you an idea of what to expect. So me and Galopin are at anchor. From there I can go to shore up ahead. Just past the castle is the fish market. The fish here is one of Cape Verde's greatest resources. A kilo of tuna costs five bucks. Near the fish market is Plaza Estrella, also known as the African market, where you can find all sorts of stuff, including custom-made clothes and flags. I also come here to get gasoline and camping gas at the Shell station. Just pull up on the beach, fill up the jerry cans, and exchange your camping gas bottles. Here is the luxury hotel called Pont Daga. Couldn't be more centrally located. And just across the water is Marina Mandelo's famed floating bar. Here you tie up your dinghy for a small fee or consume and stay for free. There are always sailor friends there to exchange stories with, like Thomas and Peter from Germany. From there you can access the city. You'll find most of your essentials, bank machines, grocery stores, restaurants, hardware stores, and the municipal market. The palace, which is a museum. And a little further is Boat CV Chandlery, run by Kai from the marina. Then there is the lively neighborhood called Ribeira Bot, and next to it is Bella Vista, home to my best friend Paige. And as well, home to my other best friend, Wendy. Continuing our little tour, we see the brand new A-frame floating structures. It is a recording studio built by a famous African music producer linked to Akon. And this is the mooring village. You can moor your boat here for about 150 bucks a month, right next to the other marina called Dokas, or fishing club. That is where Peter's boat is patiently waiting, and where world record holding fishermen keep their boats. You can also dock your dinghy here of your rubbish as well as refill your water jerry cans. And of course have a drink with friends like Cheetah here who cares for the moorings as well as Koif who does the same and will help you with any need. Both are great guys and friends. It's also a great restaurant me and Wendy enjoy as well as a place where you meet unexpected guests. Now across from there is Lagina Beach, a man-made beach for the good of the people, one of Mindelo's prized assets. A new hotel project is being built just behind, and a beach bar disco will open soon after the pandemic scare is over. For now, Caravella Bar and Restaurant is open. The beach is just a short walk away from the harbor and marina, which brings us to Marina Mindelo. Most sailors arrive and stay here. It's also where yachts can fuel up with diesel, and it's home to Peter's old boat, who's docked here until its new owner comes to claim it and sail it to wherever. The boat is sold to a Canadian friend of Peter's. And finally, there I go back to my galloping at anchor. 
But first I'll show you where Gallopine was cared for, here at the Wilson Boatyard. Bay has been a home for quite a while now. It's also home to my friend Simon, who sailed this small craft from Sweden. As for me and Gallopin, well, we have the best seat in the house, best spot in the harbor. We just need our dinghy patched up and we'll be off. It was great to have you along on this voyage. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this series. Me and Gallopin promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. Hey, hey, hey.